congratulations, Thank guys. Thank you. Thanks hey, so much. Must be so exciting that your festival circuit is almost over. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a crazy ride. Yeah, a few years ago, we sat down, we went for a long walk and said, you know what, we just got to make a movie no matter what. No matter how much it costs, we're just going to make it for zero if we have to. And we sat in coffee shops and wrote this tiny script. And now, five years later, we've been all around the world, 40 film festivals. We had our premiere at TIFF, and now it's coming out in theaters. And we have press junkets and all this stuff. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, you never ago, expected it, to be It was here just going to be us talking to people hoping like we made a movie, and now here we are. It's pretty amazing. Well, well let, let, let's start at the beginning. What initiated Freaks? Yeah, well, we, like Zach said, we, we really just wanted to make um, our own kind of movie that we could make even if we had no money. So we, we tried to think of a science fiction idea that could be done in that way. And one of the big inspirations was my kids. I was a new father at the time. And watching my son, I actually had a boy, growing up and seeing the world through his eyes and, and trying to figure out what was real and what isn't, we started thinking, how cool would it be to tell the story of a sci-fi world through a child's perspective? Because basically the audience will only know what the kid knows, which is very little. <laughs> and so as, the, as, the, as Chloe in the movie learns new things, so does the audience. And it's a really cool experience because of that. Well, it's very fascinating is because one of the most important Hollywood lessons is never to work with kids. <laughs> so talk yeah. about working with a, with a child such as uh, Lexi. Yeah, Lexi who is yeah. practically when we finished the script, we were like, okay, this was really stupid. <laughs> we have a movie that's entirely, you know, a seven-year-old girl holds every scene. What if we can't find her? Then we're really screwed. Yeah, I mean, we've done a lot of work with kids in the past, and we just knew that this movie was going to be special because it had a a little girl at the core of every single scene. And not just like a girl that like watches the world go by, but one that is driving every scene and working with incredibly talented, huge actors, um, showing them how it's done. And a lot of people go into the movie because of Bruce Stern or Emile Hirsch, they're interested, but they come out talking about her performance. Lexi is just, a, she just steals the show. When we power. started working with her, we were like, okay, we've, we've, we've got a movie now because <laughs> watching her is so fascinating. Talk about the, um, since this is an indie, indie film, you had to basically keep the budget kind of low. Talk about having m most of the film all in one set, th this house. Well, you know what's interesting is the movie starts and uh, Chloe is trapped in this house by her father. And you sort of feel like, okay, is this going to be a movie that's all in this one location? Is this one of those kind of movies? <laughs> but then about 20 minutes in, she defies her dad and escapes the house. And then Which is really you're fun. really wondering what's going to happen. Because the audience is like, get out of the house, get out of the house. Because you, you know, when you watch a movie that's all in one location, you want to leave. And as soon as she gets out of the house, your reaction is, get back in the house, get back in the house. Because <laughs> things uh, outside are a little bit scary. But yeah, we, we did it for a low budget, and we found this great old house that needed a lot of uh, repairs, which was perfect for us. <laughs> um, and uh, we shot half the movie there, and then half the movie at other locations. I know, when I actually watched this film, well, I actually watched n not knowing a single thing about it, so I was like trying to guess, like, what is this, a zombie apocalypse? Is this <laughs> some kind of child kidnapper with an ice cream truck outside? <laughs> um, were you just wanting to keep us guessing um, throughout the entire film? Our favorite, favorite movie-going experiences as movie fans is when you're sitting in an audience not knowing what's going to happen next. That feeling of of on the edge of your seat suspense. Because so many movies these days are very predictable. You go in and the first 10 minutes, you kind of know what's going to happen. <laughs> and so we just wanted to like create that kind of experience where the audience really doesn't know what's going to happen next. Now, one of the things that um, a lot of people really love is comic book movies and <laughs> so on. Um, what do you think is the fascination with people and superpowers? Yeah, I mean, comic books and superpowers have kind of become basically the Greek mythology of our time. You know, everyone knows all the characters. They all know what they can do. Um, and with Freaks, our film in some ways comments on that, but we, we feel like it takes it in a totally kind of fresh perspective. One that really looks at people in a way that they would react to a situation where, you know, when you see all the comic book stuff, it's pretty fantastical. It's pretty, uh, you know, there's giant blue lasers into the sky with there's aliens alien and, planets, and people. You know, and and we and wanted to really explore what would really happen with just normal people. And when we were writing it, we'd often ask ourselves, what would we do in this situation? Um, and people that have seen the film have really, really responded to both audience members that love 
um, kind of comic book type stuff love it because it reinvents some of those genres. But people that have never seen a superhero movie or any kind of comic book stuff watch it and they fall in love with those types of elements because to them it's totally new. So it's a really interesting blend of sort of comic book world and also just sort of really interesting family. Well, yeah, drama. like f people who love watching movies like Room or Beasts of the Southern Wild or Florida Project, movies that are, you know, more character-based dramas about families mm -hmm. seem to really get, beh get behind it and enjoy the film too.